Hi, my name is Gavin Ward and I am the head of year eight here at Hitching Girls in the north of Hertfordshire. I've done this quick video to tell you about my application of metacognition in tutor time to support the students in their um, upcoming end of year eight assessments. I took inspiration for my uh, metacognitive work from this publication by the Education Endowment Foundation. Uh, it is a poster of seven steps, seven recommendations for teachers to uh, implement uh, metacognition within their classrooms more effectively. I took these seven steps and led uh, fortnightly virtual assemblies to my year group where I explained to them what metacognition was, uh, told them that it was about thinking about thinking and thinking about how they will learn and how they would learn best and told them that the key to it was self-reflection. And that was really the, the, the linchpin of the entire strategy is to get the students to think about themselves, think about how they learn uh, and how they might improve their own development. The uh, Education Endowment Foundation does this more specifically within the classroom context. Uh, giving very uh, detailed and specific examples of how to include metacognition within the classroom, but it largely boils down to a range of steps and procedures for, for, for staff to follow, which I took and placed into a series of challenges that the, uh, that the students would, would, would follow over, over the course of a 12 week period in the run up to their exams. So I encourage the students to think about engaging their prior learning, figuring out how they learn best, figuring how they, they might organize their thoughts more effectively in terms of using flip cards, uh, mind maps, bullet pointing lists uh, to see how they might prepare or engage with their revision more thoroughly. Uh, and then following their following their end of year eight assessments, encouraging the students to to look back over um, over their assessments and think how they might improve. So so these these were the six steps that I took. These were the six steps that that I turned into into six challenges across across a twelve week period. I um, took a range of those steps and I asked the students where they wanted to start. I asked the students where their levels of confidence and their competencies, competencies sat, uh, what they felt most, most comfortable with. Um, and, uh, and so answering teachers' questions, responding to, to class discussions was where I ended up starting um, in response to the student feedback that I took. But I offered some rewards for the students that would engage in this metacognition uh, strategy. Uh, they they did six uh, challenges over a, over a two week period, and the tutors rewarded them every time they met one of those challenges three times, and I rewarded them for a further three challenges of their as their head of year. Uh, so for students that achieved these challenges six times, each one of these, um, they got a, they got got some good reward points uh, and a, and a certificate of achievement. This is a worked example of a metacognition passport from a student of mine. Um, as you can see, they, they, they just very briefly detailed what they did in order to, in order to achieve those challenges. So uh, in geography, we see here that a, a student had answered plenty of questions. In, um, and in chemistry, they'd, they'd worked on some multiple choice questions. So um, the evidence base was, was slim. Uh, I didn't I didn't want to add to their workload in any way or the workload of the teachers by encouraging it too much. Um, so they just gave brief descriptions of of where they'd achieved these things, where they'd used, for example, prior knowledge in, in the classroom, just to keep a track and a record of it so that we could reward the students for their engagement. Um, I took a baseline assessment of their understanding of metacognition from on a scale of rating of one to five, five being a very good understanding. Of, um, and, and you can see the average there. Over the course of the 12 weeks, I think there was some success there in developing the students, the uh, understanding of what metacognition meant, how they could describe metacognition. And I also took some, some student panel uh, voice and as they described to me what went well. Um, and they also gave me plenty of even better ifs for next time. Uh, so, so some areas for development uh, with, the, with the strategy. But, but as you can see, some, some positive mark, uh, responses there, commenting on how it helped their levels of organization uh, and preparation for their assessments. The uh, Education Endowment Foundation promotes this metacognitive strategy. 
um, suggesting that where done well in the classroom, it can add uh, up to seven months levels of progress uh, on attainment grades. So, um, so well worth a, a look. Well worth a, a look at their website for for that aspect of their uh, aspect of their toolkit. So that was my year eight uh, metacognition passport. Um, do uh, do get in touch with the with the teaching school hubs. Would you should you like to discuss it further with me? I'm happy for you to make contact with me, and we can we can share our thoughts there. Okay, well, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching the video. Much appreciated. Take care. Thank you.